Yeah, uh, last week, uh, you know, kind of a mixed bag for us. Uh, had a disappointing loss on Thursday against FAU, a two-point loss here at home, a game that, uh, you know, we felt like we had a chance to win, and we kind of let that slip away. We had a big lead in the first half and just couldn't sustain it. Uh, but then we bounced back on Saturday and, and, and had a good game against FIU. So, you know, going in with some momentum this week, we know we got a challenging week ahead, uh, playing some very talented teams in UAB and Middle Tennessee. So, you know, we are going to have to come out and play extremely well uh, on this road trip, and, and hopefully we'll do that. Well, I think, uh, you know, it says a lot about our guys. You know, I mean, that's, that's the kind of game that, you know, can – kind of have some carryover, hangover effect to it. Uh, so, you know, we tried really hard to get our guys ready to, you know, bounce back out of that. And I thought for the most part, we, we did a really good job with that Saturday. Yeah, uh, Anthony's still, uh, you know, recovering right now, going through a, a treatment and trying to get ready to play. It's kind of a day-to-day -day thing. He has not practiced yet with the team. We're uh, going to see how it goes tomorrow. Uh, moving into Thursday, we're hopeful. Uh, but we won't, won't really know until uh, we see how he practices tomorrow and, uh, you know, how his body responds. Well, I think, uh, you know, there are two uh, teams that are physical on the inside, very, you know, aggressive, similar to Old Dominion type, type teams. A lot of big guys. UAB has a lot of size. Uh, one of the best shot blocking teams in our league with uh, William Lee inside. So, you know, we're going to have to battle once again. It'll be a challenge to battle on the boards that come out of there. And, you know, if we could win the rebounding battle would be huge. Uh, you know, they lost their starting point guard at the beginning of the year, uh, Norton, and I think that had an effect on them early, but since then they've seemed to recover and, and bounce back. They have a lot of juniors and seniors on their team, and so they're, uh, they've been through the fires, and so there'll be a challenge for us. Uh, Middle Tennessee, obviously, has probably been the best team in our league all year long, although they did have their first loss this uh, last weekend against UTEP. So. Uh, so at least we know they're beatable, you know. So uh, it, it's a matter of going in there, and obviously when they're playing on their home courts, you know, we're going to have to play, play two of our best games of the season uh, to come away with wins. But like I told our guys, I think it's a really great opportunity for us to come in and grow as a team and try to get get a win on the road. Game. Yeah, no question. I mean, it's going to take a you know concerted effort to to make sure we're not just trying to make it a jumping contest, but boxing out, putting bodies on, and then have all five guys come in and kind of swarm for rebounds. That's uh, it's kind of been our recipe uh, as of late. It seemed to have helped us with our guards. Andrean had about six rebounds the other night. Uh, Austin had 11. Uh, so, you know, that's what it's going to take for us. We can't just count on our big guys. A lot of times they're in there holding, battling bodies, and, and the guards got to come in and help us, help us scoop them up. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, been fun to watch his progression. Uh, we knew it would take him a little time. Uh, he'd been out for a couple of years from game experience and, and, and still, you know, I, you know, I look at, at his numbers and, and he's only played, you know, 13 games, you know, so it's still not a lot, but each game he seems to get more comfortable. Uh, you know, obviously his best game was, was on Saturday, put up 30 points, so, but he's, uh, you know, gives us another offensive weapon, but like we said before, he gives us a little more size too. He can help us with rebounding and things like that. No, no, and he's shooting his threes really well right now, so that's been an added thing since he's gotten here. We've really spent time and worked on, and he's put a lot of time in the gym. Uh, that was one of the knocks on him when he first got here. Good athlete, driver, but uh, struggles to shoot the ball outside. But he's been uh, shooting almost 60% clip the last four or five games, and uh, he's just playing with a lot of confidence right now, which just you know, bodes well for our team as, as we start to get everybody hopefully grooving. Uh, both Andrean and Bo shot the ball well as well this weekend. So, you know, the more guys we get grooving at the same time, the better it, uh, it plays for us as we move on during the course of the season. I think, uh, you know, we talked about that. It's just, uh, you know, we have to somehow, you know, as, as a group, uh, you know, our approach to, to winning on the road has to be different than, than what it's been, obviously. Uh, we can't just show up and do things. There's, you know, it's it's tough to win on the road anywhere, but uh, the good teams find a way to to go out there and get that done. And so, really, the next step in in the process is is gaining that confidence, learning how to do that, go into tough environments, and come out with wins. Well, this could be a you know a huge trip for us if we were able to get a couple wins. Obviously, they would be not only good road wins, but against two of the better teams. You know, our preseason number one team, and and now the number one team. So. You know, that would bode well for, for really kicking our confidence to another level uh, heading down the stretch.
Yeah, I think, uh, you know, like I said, I don't think there's a lot you can change in, as far as game preparation goes, but uh, I think sometimes your approach, and I talk to each each of the guys about, you know, what is it that you do at home, you know, uh, what, you know, whether it be what do you eat, you know, all, it could be a multitude of things, uh, you know, that you feel comfortable playing here. Well, we got to find a way to to get that feeling and be able to play our best on the road as well. And so, you know, as a coach, it's our and coaches, it's our job to try to help, you know, uh, with that as much as we can. But also as players, they have to individually, you know, uh, take an approach that, uh, you know, gives us an opportunity to play well.